Well, Terry, it's Emirates FA Cup third round weekend, and what a time to look forward to against Arsenal. Brilliant, yeah, brilliant for all all of us that are involved. Um, Arsenal in the third round of the FA Cup, and we're at home. Obviously, met them earlier this season. How much you take from from that game? We take some confidence from that because you know we give them a game at their place and we uh, we limited them to two shots on target in that game and they scored both. Um, but let's get it right. We're playing Arsenal. We're going to need a bit of luck and uh, we're going to need to play really well. And, uh, and maybe they're going to need to be off it a little bit. You mentioned luck. How much does it help being here at home that it's, it's not going to be the Emirates pitch? I think if you're ever going to have a chance of getting a result against Arsenal, we've got more of a chance here at Bloomfield, of course. Um, and we played them away, so you know it's, it's great that we've got them, and it's great that we've got them at home. I suppose from an analysis point of view, Arsenal looking at Blackpool will know a lot more about Blackpool side. Yeah, you know I don't know how much work they would they would do on us. Um, <coughs> I know they do a lot of work for the for the Premier League games and the European games, um, but they know a little bit about us. Obviously, um, there'll be some changes from that game. We had some good players missing that day. Um, and we'll have some good players missing uh, for Saturday as well. Um, wh whatever they do, whatever team they decide to play, it's going to be uh, a really tough day at the office for us. But you know, it's the FA Cup, and you know, it doesn't always go to plan. And um, sometimes the underdog can come through. So we'll be uh, we'll be giving it our best shot, sure. And we're going to enjoy it and um, and see if we can ruffle a few feathers and, and nick a goal. Injuries and suspensions happen in football, but I'm a little bit frustrated that you've not been able to have your, your full complement of players for either game. Of course, you know, and you know, obviously the league games as well. Missing these good players in the league games, it's um, it's frustrating, but um, it's all part of the game. And it, what it does do is it gives somebody else a chance. And um, you know, they all do want to play, of course, the footballers who want to play. Um, so it'll give it'll give some different players a, a chance this time to go and put themselves on the telly and showcase themselves against uh, some of the, the world's best players.